Hi, Leo. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on for you. All right. Okay, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, someone is a broken hearted Leo right now. They could be dreaming or thinking about you. Four Swords is under the deck. They felt in the cold. It's like they said something suddenly or did something. Okay, what else is going on for Leo? What can we know about Leo? Maybe they spent all their money too. Six coins to the five of coins? Someone has run out of money? That could be why they're sad. Having to decide about working together, working on something. All right, well, how do they feel about you, Leo? Okay, so they really like you. The Six of Wands is always a good card, so they may find you attractive. Uh, what else do they feel about Leo? Five of Swords, yes. Both of these are yes cards. So both of these are like wanting to be with you, wanting to see you. So maybe this person's having some financial issues right now. Maybe they need to get a new job. Maybe they need to tell you. But they like you. Maybe that's why they're not coming around or something, or they're being sketchy. That's what's going on. What do they want with you, Leo? Want to offer you love. Four cups under the deck. Page of cups, love. Talking to you, reaching out to you. All right. What's going on for Leo in love with this person? Okay, so the divine masculine has had some really bad judgment. So that's going to mean obviously a lot of things they did wrong. could be that they gambled or they were spent their money or they didn't tell you or made bad judgment on their part. What else? What's going on? Okay, signs or synchronicities. Getting some clarity around this situation. Things are going to change. I kind of feel like, okay, yeah, under the deck is challenges. I think your person is having financial challenges or some sort of challenge overall. And I think you're kind of like cluing in on that with the signs and synchronicities. It's like you like this person. Maybe you've known you could be dating them for a long time or just gotten to know them. But there's something off with them and you're trying to figure out what it is. It's like they like you, but they're not coming around. They're not doing anything. They're not taking action. Um, it's because you're going to find, you're going to hear something, see something with the signs and synchronicities I'm picking up. And you're like, oh, okay, that's why. Okay, but after you find this out, things are changing around this connection. Oh, well, hang on. Under the deck is four of wands. Okay, so you could honestly, when you find out whatever you're going to find out, you could do obviously one of two things. Say that's okay, we'll let it go, we'll still be together because this person really does like you. Hierophants and the Ten of Cups is a long term relationship. Now, if you find out this person's married, which I don't see them being married, but um, obviously you're probably going to walk away. Or if you find out like this person just doesn't have it together, or, you know, they just too much is going on in their life, they need to take care of their business, you may walk away also and just, you know, say like, I can't do this anymore and you know maybe date or look from somebody else that type of thing is what I'm seeing her so yeah new love I see you looking for maybe new love you're gonna find something out about this person is what I'm seeing in your reading that you've been kind of stumped lately like you need clarity and this person may get like they may smoke a lot of cloudy judgment they may you know make really bad choices and even though they really like you it's like they just can't seem to get it together what is your advice what do you need to know party having fun that maybe that's what they're doing they spend all their money partying um, but it's unresolved it's an unfinished business unresolved situation though between the two of you but they're not showing their true self so they got a mask on okay so you're finding out all kinds of stuff at this person gambling I, I got that because this is like gambling getting you know losing their money so it's taking a chance Romance, but they do have feelings for you because I was right off the bat and they want to get married. Romance, feelings, marriage, sacred union. Now, again, spiritual awakening, realization. For some of you, you could find out that they are married. Okay. Um, I feel like if you know they're married and you're hoping like they're going to leave that person, I don't see them leaving. All right. But anything I see them going toward that connection and staying staying in it even if they're unhappy unfortunately so but if not they want to marry you 
They have some sort of unsent message or text message. Maybe you've had them blocked though. It says blocked in obstacles. An ex lover, an old spark though, is it possibly in the way as well? Who's keeping tabs? Says social media. So that's another thing. I mean, maybe there's someone else involved. They're not married, but there's still someone else who's getting involved, who's keeping tabs on the two of you, what you guys are doing. So it just looks like drama with this person. So if you're a Leo dating someone who you kind of want to know what's going on with them, there's something, something that's, it's not that simple. It's not just like a job getting in the way. Like this person has some issues and they're messy. They got to take care of some things first. Okay. Uh, what about somebody new? Is there anybody new? New love for Leo? New love? Four of Swords. Five of Cups. Some of you aren't ready to move on. You're not sure possibly about dating somebody new. However, you could get over this person fairly quickly and meet somebody new and maybe meet someone very quickly because you're going from the Three of Swords to the Six of Wands. So you're feeling pretty good. I still feel like this person is going to follow you or chase you or still reach out to you, okay? Whoever this past person is. They're not over you. Maybe you're not over them. So maybe you're not ready to move on. Under the deck is the death card. Well, see, I think this person parties too much. I think they waste their money. Because look, at they're like, I'm not going to waste my money or spend my money anymore. That's what I'm seeing here. Maybe they have given their money. Like, they're not spending it on you or they're not. Um, not that you necessarily want that. But Ten of Pentacles fell out. You is walking away something new. I do feel like this person is going to clean up their act. I feel like they need to get it together. I think they're going to, uh, I think if you gave them an ultimatum or said, not that you need to give them an ultimatum, but, you know, if you said, like, hey, you know, get it together or I'm out of here, I think they would try. It looks like they're trying to go for a new job or something, they're trying to start something new. What does? What do you need to know, though? Because I feel like you have good energy right now around you, Leo. That's like, like this isn't going to drag you down this situation or person. What else is going on for you? What does Leo need to know, spirit? Yeah. It says, a wish is granted and you're stepping into a new situation or ex experience. The card says experience, whatever. So that's kind of what I felt here because I kind of felt like this person aside, I do feel like something new could be starting for you, I guess you could say. Um, it could be anything under the deck. Let's see. Yes, this problems to be resolved. Ink pot. I feel like for some of you, you're taking on a, um, a, like a, a new role or an upper management position, or like you're step. Even if you don't work, like you're stepping up. It's kind of what I feel for you. A wish is granted. What is this wish for Leo? What is this wish? Come on, give me a card. I want to have to. Edit the shuffling out. Horseshoe, good luck. Well, I haven't seen that one lately. Good luck. So you guys have good luck coming in. All right. I kind of think that's what is like, okay. So I feel like that's where this past person, you're not too worried about it because you have something else going on that is like, you know, it takes over everything. So like, let's say you are heartbroken about this past person who's not getting it together. You could have like a windfall of money or good luck or something happening here, some sort of wish, and it's makes you really happy to where like you're not too concerned about this other thing for now. Um, <sighs> stepping new experience. You've been going with the flow. The masculine energy is a someone who's loyal, poised to send a message, taking some sort of leap of faith, a chance, but come to the edge. Justice to be fair. Leo, I feel like there's someone else waiting in the wings. I feel like this is somebody different. I feel like there's just like positive vibes around you. This is someone who's ha who has your back or is looking out for you, who has been thinking about you. Also, happy birthday. We're in Leo season, huh? I know quite a few Leos, like Leo friends and so. But happy birthday, you guys. Um, if there's something here, I almost feel like maybe it was another Leo. But someone who's loyal wants to send a message, maybe because your birthday doesn't have to be an emotional, secure, loving family or relationship is important to you. Okay. What's going on for Leo? Who is this person? Transcending, overcoming obstacles. I think this is a new person. 
I, you may already know them, but I feel like this is the new energy. So you've been kind of going with the flow, and then you have someone who's reaching out. They could be a lawyer or in like the justice system or something like that, possibly. Why is coming to the edge here, though? That too. Wow, the star and the two of wands. It's a new relationship. It's taking um, or something where you're going to go in a new direction. Why, to be fair, I think this is, you know, meant for you, obviously. I think you've been having it rough. Things haven't been working out. Maybe you've been waiting for love. This past person keeps screwing you around. They're not giving you what you want. They keep running out of money or doing drugs or doing something. This is like somebody who has your back. I just saw King of Cups possibly going by. Or maybe it was a past person. What is this, to be fair, for Leo? T yeah, you're tired of putting with bullshit. Tired of working, maybe? Oh, that's like having a crappy boss. Maybe you feel like you're not getting ahead. Ooh, things are crumbling. You feel out in the cold. That could be financial. That could be emotional. You could just be... This is probably past energy. So listen to your intuition. Someone could be giving you something. Maybe you are. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands. This was like old energy. Okay, I think what they're doing is going over old energy and saying this is what you had to put up with. Work, paying for things. Things like that. So I think you're like, this is something else. Something new. I get security coming in for you. All right. Um, anything else for Leo? Let me go to this deck. Let me see what your advice is really quick and then what you should be focusing on specifically. Okay, Leo, you should just listen to... Okay, so this is wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person which will allow you to move on. Anything else? What is your advice? Unconditional love. New love. Make the effort. And keep the door open. Perfect. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Have a great week.